Hi, I'm going to be talking to you about the Joanna Briggs Institute. It's a site that you can um, find best practice support and promotion. The purpose of the Institute is to provide reliable evidence which health professionals can use to inform their clinical decision making. It develops evidence in various formats for nursing, allied health, and medical professionals as well as support information for consumers. It's a nonprofit international organization founded in 1996, in coordination with the University of Adelaide and Royal Adelaide Hospital in South Australia. The name was um, from the matron of Royal Adelaide Hospital. Because the hospital institute was located at the hospital, they used the name of, of an individual who had been involved in, in the hospital care. Their logo is a pebble dropping into water. It is a metaphor for the process of knowledge, sharing, and practice change, and how a single act or piece of information can be a powerful catalyst for continuous change. Today, there are over 70 collaborating entities around the world. A committee of management governments the institute with operations directed by the executive director. The vision is evidence best practice as a central characteristic of health services to improve the health status of the global population through the delivery of health care that is based on the best available evidence. Their mission is to produce and disseminate and provide a framework for the use of the best available research evidence to inform clinical decision making to improve health outcomes globally through translation, transfer, and utilization of evidence of the feasibility, appropriateness, meaningfulness, and effectiveness of healthcare practices. The role is to identify appropriate and meaningful and effective healthcare practices and healthcare outcomes by facilitating international collaboration between collaborating centers, groups, and expert researchers, clinicians, and members of the institute by developing methods to appraise and synthesize evidence, conducting systemic reviews and analysis of the research literature globally disseminating information in diverse formats to inform health systems, health professionals, and consumers by facilitating the effective implement implementation of evidence and the evaluation of its impact on healthcare practices, and contributing to clinical cost-effective healthcare through the promotion of evidence-based healthcare practice. They also um, show professionalism, service delivery and performance, quality and reliability of information. They have a local, national, and international reputation and, and mutual respect between nations, professions, and cultures. Membership is free, but only available to subscribers through JBI, Connect, Ovid, or um, those who have a JBI fellowship program. And you can find it at customer service at lww.com. They have some affiliate organizations, institutes. Um, some of them are listed here that I found on the website. Um, as we all know, the Cochrane um, Institute, the Cochrane Quality Research Methods, Cochrane Nursing Care Field. Autumn Care it connects the aged care sector with the latest technology. Um, the GIN, or Guidelines International Network, is a global network which supports evidence best practice healthcare and improved outcomes. The Lee's Care, Lee Care Solutions is a care management software program for residential care providers. And the Campbell co Collaboration Process and Implementation Methods and Subgroups. If professionals have questions, these are some of the sites that are located on the JBI Institute website. You can find evidence summaries, evidence-based recommended practices, best practice information sheets, systemic reviews, consumer information sheets, systemic review protocols, technical reports, and sub subject area nodes. The subject area nodes are specialty services, um, so you can look under your specialty care practice areas and find um, evidence-based articles and assistance for those, such as rehabilitation, infection control, midwifery, to name a few. There's also some other, some link, these are some of the links that are found on the home website, JBI Matters, which is a monthly newsletter, JBI Connect, 
which is an online network of evidence for care and therapeutics, um, Ovid, LinkedIn, the Joanna Institute, Briggs Institute Library, and also they have some Save the Dates, which are seminars and conferences that um, you're welcome to participate in. Online JBI resources, they have the Connect at Ovid, in coordination with Lippincott Nursing Center and partnered with the Walters Kluwer Health Pace, Paces or Pace Setters by Lippincott, information regarding events and educations, Connect Journal Club, which you can start your own or um, get involved in another journal club. They have the CalNOC, which is a metrics program, clinical fellows program, and comprehensive systemic review training programs. How to find the information. These are some um, URL sites that I have found um, with lots of information, although you can just go to the main um, website and you can locate any of these or if you go to Google. JBI programs are broken down into three groups. Um, synthesis science, which is a methodological development and support team. Translation science, which is contact development. And communication science, which is um, run the local and international events, develop internal and external communication strategies. In summary, um, if you're a JBI member, you'll receive the JBI newsletter. You can apply for JBI endorsement. You also will get um, 10 to 20 percent discounts on courses, books, and training. Um, you have an evidence best practice manual, or you can build your own on the website. You can audit and change your practice, and you can find the evidence best consumer pamphlets um, for, your, for your patients. This is an upcoming event that was found on the website as well. It's, uh, it's going to be on Wednesday, March 20th in South Australia, if anybody would like to go. Um, it's on uh, the topic is the role of the translational research in Aboriginal health. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy exploring the website as much as I did, and have a great day.